welcome back to the poop show well last video we we were bonding the cowl scoop onto the fiberglass hood which seemed to work okay on two-thirds of it um, and yesterday Father's Day we had a little bit of an issue with the seam here's my finger from here to here was fine and then from here out to the very end pop so curious as I was I was like why did the bonding agent not um, set up it wasn't set up why didn't it not bond because it wasn't set up so I looked at the tubes you guys saw me on that video using the double barrel plunger apparently there was a giant pocket of air on one side of the like part B and I ran it all out and what I was just getting was the part A that was left over and uh, I don't know if you could recall in the video it looks like I kind of ran out towards the end which was that side and um, lo and behold it popped so what I did was I went out I should have done this right from the beginning I don't know why I wanted to go with the panel bonding because I thought it was going to be cleaner is I got some fiberglass resin and I just resined it and screwed it down so now take a, it's kind of ugly but you can see how deep that is now that is not coming up that is definitely not gonna pop so we went all the way around I had to screw everything back down and what I did was I also lifted and I squeegeed all the resin underneath and then screwed this back down and I did supplemental I had some left over I just went around the outside edge of this hood all the way up so we have a resin coat sorry for the wind it's breezy out today but it's actually nice it's not so hot Oops, sorry oh god oh god so that also is buried so what I'm gonna do now is take out the weapon of mass destruction here something I didn't think I would be doing in a long time because I had two cars that were done I said, I'm not gonna be doing that much body work anymore <clears throat> 36 grit we're gonna scuff it all up and then we're gonna get some mar glass bur glass glass reinforced bondo whatever you call it and we're just going to you know squeegee it on and stop roughing in the shape of the cowl to the edge of the hood and that was max so max is out again with me my buddy what are you looking for what is it what do you want i know what you want <gasps> is that what you want you want your ball you want me to play ball all right i'm gonna have to play ball with him for a little bit he needs to get his energy out. Yeah, throw it again to me. Give it to me. Come on, give it to me. Thank you. All right, back in a bit. All right, I got the hood flipped over, clearly. Um, you guys get to take a first-hand look at what happened here. This is supposed to be hot as a rock, and it's not. Yep. Some of them are hot as a rock. Some of it's like solid. Like over here. That's solid. But all along that outside edge, it's not so solid. So, uh, I don't know. I'm going to scrape this down. I'm going to take my grinder. And I'm going to kind of feather this edge. And we're going to get some fiberglass mat. And we're going to lay it in all the way around. We're going to clean up. Where are you, finger? We're going to clean up this little edge here where the old scoop was. And we're going to blend that in. This, eh, where are you? Right here. We're going to do the same thing here. So, yeah. I don't know if I got a bum. I've used it before. I don't know if I got a bum cartridge that had an air pocket in it. I mean, it was all going pretty well. I mean, right in the beginning, you could actually see the, the cream-colored 
hardener or I don't know what part is the hardener what part is the actual uh, the, the epoxy but um yeah man this is the first time I was using that and I had an issue with it so who knows um, but we 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 fixed it we got it so it's now it's not gonna move I had to use the resin so I'm gonna scrape all this excess crap off of here on both sides take a grinder to it clean it up a little bit so we get a nice little bonding um, surface for my uh, mesh all right back a little bit all right we're gonna start mixing up some resin I got some Matt, Matt, YouTube, YouTube, Matt. You guys have been properly introduced. So, one thing about fiberglass resin, it's messy and nasty. You want to be careful with it because it can make your life miserable. Or it can float your boat. So, I'm weaving in the shot here. I don't even know. It's really windy. I apologize for the wind in the camera, but Mother Nature has. You don't want to mix too much up. This cup is probably around nine ounces. So we got, I don't know, maybe six to six to seven ounces in here. Um, the hardener, a couple of drops. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, I want to say 13, 14, maybe. So, Max, Shoe Max, you want to mix this up? Get the catalyst going. Get the. My father used to call it DDM. I don't know if that was the name. My father used to work for O'Day Boat way back in the day. And he would, uh, this was his job. He would. fiberglass the hulls the inside hulls he would, he would bridge all the joints that needed to be bridged and um, infill everything with fiberglass and how this man did this every day and second shift mind you and and just just to get up and go to work because when he used to come home from work his lunch box would always be as full as it was when it went to work because his food would smell like fiberglass his pants from the knee down would be solid fiberglass. It'd be like they could stand up by themselves. Every day he would go to work. And um, I don't know how the hell he did it. God bless him. So, we're gonna take some Razone. I'm gonna brush it on. I don't have the roller. There's a roller that you use, that he used to use. And we're going to use the brush instead. And you just want to, you want to tamp it in. To get all the air out. His little roller that he used to have would essentially get all the air out. My work time is starting to kick already, so I gotta move a little faster. And they would roll this and get all the air out. The little 
wheel that I don't have. So I gotta make do with what I have. Okay. I gotta mix up some more. I'm gonna do one side to do the other. And this is also gonna help with the bonding of the hood, the uh, scoop. So I'll, I'm not gonna use quite as much hardener because it kicked really fast on me. What did we do, like 14 last time? We'll do 10. That was about 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Lucky 11. It's a messy job. I don't know, man. I don't know how these guys can do it. Working these boat factories. Working fiberglass all day, every day. I wiped everything down with lack of thinner before I started too, so. saturate it. And I'll let this cure for a couple hours. And then I'll start on the other side. And we'll start uh we'll start um putting in some durable Dura glass. I really don't want this hood scoop to pop again. <laughs> Just twice fixed with the steel hood, and then now I'm doing this with this one. So it's three times. I don't want to go forward. I want to try to get this this toy. Is a toy good. And the more layers of the mat you put on, the stronger it gets, but the heavier it gets. kind of through the mesh. Good 
do. And they used to use acetone. My father used to be. I swear to God, I don't know how he did it. I can't. I can't think. I can't imagine. Summer nights. Put the last piece in. It's a little more than I made last time, but that patch is a little wider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I don't like thirteen numbers. I don't like that number. Cut. Mix it up. Brush it on. My brush is already starting to kick too. And I'll try to go over it once over. All this shit's all gonna get sanded. Did I say shit? Did I say shit? Banished to the back of the yard. <laughs> it's going to stay with me. Poking and prodding in this game. But it will be nice when it's done. Yeah, the key, the key here is keep, keeping the, the mash, the mat, the mat saturated and translucent. You want to get out the air bubbles. Thank you. 